So Pamela, this is Crystal, and we just have a discussion that our top priority here is not just to find out what's wrong with this meal and fix it, it's to show you what was wrong before we fixed it, show you how we fixed it, and that will put you in a safer place. Not only will you know what to expect when she's right, but what went wrong that got her taken advantage of you. And I believe that's what's going on. So the first thing that Crystal noticed that was when she bitted her up without a cavison, she started sticking her tongue all over the place. That reminded me you've got a Max Harsha bit on her, which is never necessary on a good meal. So that's one thing. And then whenever she put the cavison on her and re-bitted her, what was she doing, Crystal? Well, I put the bit on without the cavison tight. And as soon as I put the bit in her mouth, she went to stick her tongue over the bit. So at that point, I immediately put the tongue under her bit or put her tongue under the bit and then went to tighten the cavison. And when I went to tighten the cavison, she just throws her head up like, Oh my gosh, what is that? And then right after that, she started messing with her tongue, trying to get it over the bit continuously. And she's fine with it now, but I did find that rather curious that that was her first instinct was to do that. So, so. we don't really know that that was a problem or is a problem. You may be riding her with a cavison, but we did see an oddity there that we wanted to get on tape for you. And so now then, uh, We've got the cavison on, we've got a twisted wire bit in there. We do not have your Max Harsha bit in there. Oh. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we've got to work with. So Kristen, go ahead there. Oh. <laughs> Bring them back. Get down and get back up, Crystal. That's all right, let her, let her off the park, let her off the park. Oh. Okay, back her off her park. So you gotta look here, Pamela, and see, and I, and I suspect she was because she is doing a great job, but, um, Push her back over there. Very good. See, don't let her walk over on you. Keep her off of I you. I did like. notice that when I was had her on the rail, she kept just moving over towards me continuously. So I just smack her away, push her away, and. Um, so you didn't let her encroach. No, 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 certainly not. And tell her about moving their hips away when we walk up to them on the rail. So anytime we ever walk up to them on the rail, we always want them to step away. Would I it? always want them to stand right in the middle so I can go to one side or the other and I never have them encroaching on me on one side or the other and pushing me against the wall. I don't ever want to be entrapped by them. That's just not safe. So they always need to know to give me my space. So we we'll want to get that on tape later. So here we're going to just, Crystal going to put a little pressure on her to park out. Looks like you've been making her park out because she's got that pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she just does right now. So we're thinking that you've been real good about keeping her at that. And she's moving away from me a little bit as I her out, which is good. Okay. She still does a great job of it and still looks good. Look at that, her tail's touching the ground. Oh, her tail? That is a heck of a tail. Park. Now I have to get on to Crystal occasionally because she's a little soft on this parking out. You know, I'm, those, those Amish boys, if, they'd have, if she'd have done that more than once, They'd have kicked her so hard in the hawk that uh, she wouldn't be messing with them again. So that's good, Crystal. Go ahead and let's get up and see how she does. Oh. Now we realize we're in the barn and your accidents are happening out on the trail, but we just want you to get, we want you to see everything we're seeing, then you can critique it and then let us know if that's what you see when you're at your place of course, we've already talked to Crystal about going out and riding like she absolutely, totally does not know. See, she started to back off her park there at Crystal, put her back out. But we, 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 we're going, 
Crystal is going to ride like she doesn't know how to ride at all, not that you don't, but we're going to give this mule every opportunity to goof up that we can. Park out. Park. Oh. Mules do what you want them to do because they think you require it. Not because you want it or you're their friends. They do it because you require it. Okay, my girl. Now, if Bobby would have done that, he'd have been saying whoa about five times, but Crystal's not quite as verbal as I am. seemed to be patient enough and we haven't been working her or pulling her or anything she's just been standing in the stall and we got her picked her up what last Wednesday or something and this is Tuesday so she's had a whole week off and she seems to be quite patient so let's see what she does Figure eight. Stay down there. Yeah. to the middle of the barn down there and face her up on me. Out. Out. If, as we, and so I'm going to let you know what I'm thinking, Pamela. I do that with Crystal so she understands. And So when I saw her push on that bit a little bit, it's way early to know whether she's got a good woe or not. But when I saw her push on that bit, I'm going to tell Crystal, uh, Crystal, you watch that whoa, and if we need to, we'll put her in harness and let her drag that spike tooth hair and put a real whoa on her, okay? I like the way she's looking around. A mule that's spooky would be looking violently over at that corner over there because that's where the dogs always come through. And she's just paying attention to the world. Crystal, I want you to try your very best to put her at 1 o'clock on this side at when she faces back out and see if she flexes as well. Mm -hmm. Stop. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, I just want, just, just touch it. Too much, too much. Wait, wait. Okay, do this side. And I mean literally just touch it. Okay, that didn't work either. So now I want you to keep a little tension on the off side and just touch it and tell her to whoa. Whoa. You didn't, no. The whoa comes before she moves. You have to do that before she moves. Oh. Oh. Okay, now we're going to have to Quit pussyfooting around with her. Treat her like an Amish. Ho! Oh. oh. See that? You pussyfoot around with them, and they'll push you and take advantage. Ho! Oh. You see that? Now, don't move. Easy. Give her a chance. Now, let that left there. That's good enough for now. Let her go. Now that wasn't much, but it, by golly, it's somewhere to start. Go back down here. Let's do it back down here. <clears throat> okay, so now when you, there's that tongue. Not over it, but you're trying. Now listen, I want you to tell her to whoa before you collect that up. Make her think whoa, and then 
keep that offside rein a little tiny tension like we've discussed and just barely touch this other one and see if we can get her to flex without going into a one rein stop. Careful, careful, careful. Ho, oh. oh. ho. Oh. Ho. Just stay right there. She's not thinking about giving. Like it's on in her eye. Give it her a minute. Give her a minute. Ho. Oh. Now, Crystal is not pulling around, but she is keeping the same tension on that onside rein. Let her go on this side. Well, mm -mm. okay, that's good. I meant, okay, what I was trying to get to was, okay, so here's the thing, Pamela. When Crystal's got... The offside rein, hold your hand where you're offside, okay? And the onside rein where she's tugging her to get a flex, she's tightening that offside rein to help her woe and telling her to woe. Now, Crystal, when she's, when you feel like she has decided to stand still, then begin to, begin to let a little tension off that offside a little at a time so she feels free to come on around, okay? I think we inhibited her just a tad there. Oh. Oh. Okay, come back around here again. Set back up. Oh. Okay, no. Okay, you got to come out of the lights. See the light on your. Okay, so here's here's. Well, you're way too close to me now. You're gonna have to. Do it right there. So, uh, now watch this, Pamela. So, oh. no, 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 no. I will. I want to. I want to. Hang on. No, no. Good. Turn back around. Turn back around. Turn back around. Stop. Oh. Now listen closely. Tighten both reins like you're going to back up. Okay. Hey, look at that. Good for her. Okay, so now you have her attention on you because she was looking down there. So tighten up again like you're backing up. Stop. Now then, don't jerk that rein. Don't. Now, you're going to keep a little tension on the offside, and you're not even going to go to 1 o'clock. You're going to go halfway to 1 o'clock. Tell her, whoa. Oh. Now, just stay there. Oh. No more tension. Just keep it right there. Keep, tell her, whoa. Oh. 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 Now, release the offside. Don't stay oh. with her. Keep that little tiny oh. tension. It's looking good. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Not yet. She's trying to figure out how to get oh. away from the pressure. Oh. If she goes in a turn, just stay with her. Oh. 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 Quit pussyfooting with her. Oh. Watch. Wait for it. There. We cannot pussyfoot with this mule. She needs Amish tactics. Oh. Oh. Now, Pamela, what I want you to take away from what you've seen so far is that this mule is going to require you to require her to do certain things or she's not going to cooperate. As you can see, Crystal's not been growling like I did and not growling like she's going to and this mule continues to think she can get away with stuff. Now Crystal, she's looking out at the dog so I'd like you to back her up and do it again. Get her attention on you. Hey, pay attention. Yeah. Still not on hey. you. Uh, walk her around and put her on this side where she's looking at that blank wall for us. She's got her attention out on the dogs and stuff. Oh. No. Oh, well, I can't get, yeah, that's good idea. So now think about this. We're going to back up just a little bit to get her attention on the reins. Okay, now we're gonna keep that offside tied a little bit and we're gonna 
spear, see, Crystal, slide her hand down. Do that again for me, Crystal. She slides her hand down. Now that mule knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Well, see, here, I'll come back up here. So here's something, Pamela, you got to make sure that your mule is paying attention to you. She started looking out that door, so uh, we're gonna try it anyway here. And so, uh, Pamela, this is not that you have to do this when everything's perfect, but we're trying to make sure and train here. So we want our attention. So just a half a back, tighten the offside, slide the hand down, and just tiniest tension to bring her head. Oh. There, right there. Oh. Ho! Oh. 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 Stay with it. Don't be a oh. pussy, Crystal. Oh. That's it. Oh. Every time you say that, she let the offside go. Oh. Stay with her. Oh. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. That's it. Ho! Oh. Now give her a little, don't let her go. <clears throat> oh. Take the verbal pressure off, let her think. There you go. Okay, oh. so now Pamela, right there, you go, oh, they're being mean to my little meal. No, we're not, we're just being direct. <clears throat> been many a good grandchild rent by not being direct. So, but then there was that place where the gruffness stopped because we had her attention and I felt like that we could take the, the gruffness out, that it was driving her forward, it needed to be released. And, it, and th did you notice just a, a moment after we released the pressure, she could think about getting away from the, the, rain, the, the, the rain pressure. When we released the verbal pressure, she could think about the rain pressure and she immediately flexed. And that is <laughs> what most people never see. So right now, catch her. Stop. Tell her. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now stay right there. Don't pull her any further. Oh. Try to help her stop. Oh. That's all right. Stay with her. Oh. That's okay. So we're oh. gonna we're gonna have to ride around and around a little oh. bit if that fool. Cause see what's happening. Oh. Stay right with her. So what's happening oh. here? There's that tongue. She's trying so hard to get that. So oh. what's happening oh. here is that. You know, we're all okay with her trying to push to the right, try to push her nose down, try to do anything to get away from the pressure. We just work through that, and then when she comes to the rain and flexes and she gets away from the pressure, that's all wonderful. Now, this mule is trying to go around in circles thinking that's how she's going to get away from the pressure. So, you know, Crystal, what we're going to do... Normally we wouldn't do this, but since you've been having some runaway issues and stuff, if we let her go into that turn thinking that she can get away from the pressure, in a way that relates to what happens to Pamela, I think. She collects her up when she's misbehaving, and then the mule begins to run away with her, and she doesn't get her face hauled around. So. Maybe if we let her go around, get trying to get away from the pressure, she'll learn the only way to get away from the pressure is to stop and give in to that rain, then that may be something that facilitates Pamela's safety. So let's, let's just try that a few times, Crystal. I want you to just stop trying to keep her from circling as much. I want you to try a little bit so she knows you don't want her to circle. She just want her to flex. But then when she goes into getting away from the pressure in the circle, let her keep circling until she stops on her own. And then be sure when she does give to the flex that you pet her really well, okay? This will be interesting. No, now let her go. She, if she, no, no, I don't mean let her go. Don't. Well, she flexed. She gave in. She her did nose. flex. Okay. Yeah, she gave her nose. Okay, her very nose. good. So now what we want to do? Let's go ahead and try that some more until we get some good going around and around. So don't tell her whoa right away. No, let her spin. I mean, well, stop. 
I do want her to think that you want her to stand still, but I don't want you to mechanically try to keep her or verbally keep her standing still. We win whenever she starts going in a circle and then stops and flexes, okay? Okay, so Clinton Anderson would have scolded you there. You never release, they never win as long as their feet are moving. Even if they flex, they don't win, okay? Me, on the other hand, would not be scolding you. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. There. Okay, do you, you kind of feel the difference now. I mean, she kind of stopped and flexed, and then she moved that back leg just a little bit. No, she's not done moving. But, but, and then maybe, maybe we failed on the side of waiting too long. I think she half flexed once while she was standing still, and I asked you to hold it, and then she really flexed. And she knew, when, she, when we waited till that second one, she knew the only way she got away from her pressure was to give you that good flex. So let's try that again. Four more times. I was on the other side. Oh, good, she moved. Stay after her. Don't release too soon. You see her trying to get away? Stick the tongue out. She says, maybe if I stick my tongue out, I can get away from the pressure. Maybe if I move my hip, I can take the pressure off. Maybe if I push my nose. No, nope, that didn't work. This is what she's thinking, Pamela. No, I think I want to go this. No, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I love this game. Crystal, I'm, as soon as I get it where I can see it, I want you to move your leg back. Don't pull her too far around. Leave her out there a little bit. No, don't move your leg back now. Okay, don't bring her any further around. Isn't that funny? Oh, she's getting ready. Move your foot back. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it gets fun. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, what's it going to take to convince her? Yeah. I see that tongue. And look yes. at her push now. She got her tongue out and she's pushing. I love this game. Is her tongue over the bit? I'll check in a minute. I didn't want to interrupt the party. <laughs> Now, so try not to try not to get her so far towards your knees so she can got a little more room to flex. There's that tongue again. This is amazing. She's not spinning really fast. I wonder how old she is. She must be eight or something. <clears throat> so, you know what we're going to do, not today, now Crystal, okay, now raise your hand up, don't pull back, foot back, just stay there. We got all day. Okay, see you you don't when she raises your her head that rain got a little slacky, so don't let that happen. Whatever she does that oh there it went again. 
Crystal, I want you to focus totally on the tension on that ring. No matter what, reach down further. No wonder you can't keep her. There you go. I think I can stand here. She'll be here back around here in a minute. There. Whew, that took forever. So, Crystal and Pamela, what we're going to do now is tie her head around tomorrow and let her stand in here with her head tied around both ways for quite a while while we're doing other things, and then we'll try this again, okay? How would you like to go out and see how well she gates? Yeah. She throws that head up, keep that ring. If you notice, Crystal's jiggling that just a little bit. Just to keep her attention over here. Isn't that odd? Thank you. No, 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 Yep. See, so that's what the trainers, I'm I'm speaking out loud what I'm thinking. So you can kind of get some idea. Can we check her tongue? Yeah, we're going to check her tongue to see if she's got it under the bed or not. Oh. I thought that cap was in there. No, bed. it's under there. I thought she's sticking it out underneath, yeah, underneath the bed. Yeah, she's trying that hard to get it. So, what, so she's just doing all kinds of things. She's not violent, trying to find a different way to escape, but she is not cooperating with that rain yet. Because you know what, Pamela? Crystal is thinking things she wants to do wants the mule to do there it is that was pretty good up from this side I, yeah that wasn't wasn't great no that wasn't great but crystal is communicating what's in her brain through her arms and her hands and the rain and the bit and back up into that mule's mm-hmm now see it it's, a lot of people be getting aggravated right now because look at that but actually <laughs> We're going to win. We know we're going to win, so we're not mad about that. We're glad she's getting that out of her head. The quicker she learns that she can't get away from that pressure by doing the wrong th thing, the better meal she'll make in the end. So, Crystal... <clears throat> So, Pamela and Crystal, what we have to do now, from what I see, is that there's not enough, we're not getting enough uncomfortable pressure on her mouth so that she wants to give in the way we want her to go. So the way we're going to adjust that is we're going to keep the offside rein tighter and we're going to make sure that that onside rein is tight and we're going to be so cognizant of that face when she says, I'm going to flex, that when she does that, we can just let that offside rein go. Because if we don't, she can't flex. So does that make sense? By collect You know how you put pressure to stop by taking both reins? Well, we want to put pressure on her to flex in the similar way, but we want to do it kind of more pressure the direction you want her to flex than the other. Try it. You'll figure it out. Okay. Tighten up both reins. <laughs> yeah. She said, crap, that hurts. I want to get out of here. That hurts. I'm uncomfortable. I wish she wouldn't have done that. How'd she figure that out? How'd she figure that out? I had her figured out. Oh, look at the tongues out. <laughs> she said, I think if I stick my tongue out, I can get away from this. Oh, that son of a gun, it didn't work. See? Oh, I love training mules. <laughs> 
if grandkids were as easy to train and children oh, as that's no joke. if they were as easy to train as a mule and figure out and train then we'd have a book on it and we'd be really rich yeah. <laughs> my family gets so mad at me when I go well you know what if that kid was a mule I'd <laughs> I'd be skinning them. <laughs> no, I'd be draining them like a mule. <laughs> like a mule skinner. And boy, that, that just never sets real good with their mothers. Okay, I don't want you to pull her towards you, but tighten that offside rein. Really put the squeeze on that ch curb chain. So what's happening is, as you already know, we're putting more pressure on so we can get the results we want. The thing is, once we, once she figures out what we require of her, we can stop doing that. We can just make her flex like normal. But see, she thinks backing up's going to get it. She keeps wanting to put her head down as her way to get out of it, and she hits into that rain, and she can't. Put her head down to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So now she's trying to think it back and they'll be the answer out of it. Oh, that. Just stay with her. Oh, you let the pressure off. Stay with her. Just let her dance around there all she wants. Tighten up both reins. When she stops, yeah, now tighten them up. Now, if, okay, stay with it. Now, if, if she gets the slightest relief on those rein pressures when she flips that hip out from under you, she thinks she won some pressure off. So you've got to be sure that no matter what she's doing under you, she's, you still got that perfect, the same perfect pressure on her. Actually, it doesn't have to be perfect pressure. It can be too much. It can be a little too little. But it has to stay the same. I don't know if that expressed clearly. If she moves her hip and your left shoulder drops and your left arm and hand drop, an inch, it releases pressure. And she thinks, wow, that worked. And she dances and dances, dances to get that one inch of pressure release. And, and so that's kind of, I think, what was not happening there. But I think in a way, that's why she started dancing around, because she could feel that pressure go a little bit. Because I could see that rain occasionally dip just a Oh, okay, now it's start cautioning her. Oh. There, she gave it to you. So let me ask you this, are, are you pulling her head all the way around to your knee or is she just sticking it around there to your knee before she flexes? I... Show me one o'clock. Now, you jerked her. For, for as sensitive as, I know you don't think you did, but standing down here watching her face and watching you and have seen what you've done with that rain. And about when I say you jerked her, I don't mean you were violent and rude, but it was just enough of a snap the way you pulled that rain to make her think, ah, i got to move. Okay, so I want you to, I want you just, just, just so gently touch that. Don't move her head. Just move that rein. Tighten that shank. One side only. And that's all. That's all. Just stay right there. See her bobbling? Keep the tension. Tension, tension. 
Let that offside go. Cautioner. Oh. Oh. There. See? See? I love that. Do you see that? Now, why are we now cautioning her after I told you don't caution her? Because I think we've gravitated through this training process enough now to where she's not thinking the movement's going to get her anything. It might, but I don't think she believes it. So now then we're going to woe her to help her make the correct decision, which means give to the bit. Get away from the pressure, give to the bit. So let's go ahead and then you start woeing and telling her and telling her and just like you did there, that was very good. That was a little bit cross. Your grand your your son just came home from school and spilled the potato chips in the floor. That would just a okay. Funny little twist there, wasn't it? There it is. She gave it to you. I know it may not look like it up there, but it did down here. So I want you to, I want, I do not want you to do the normal thing with her. I want you just to slide that hand down so you know she knows you're coming. That's all. You see Crystal's fingers? She just kind of gave her a little, no, you're not going that way. Talk to her. Talk to her. That's it. Talk to her. Talk to her. Tongues out. Talk to her. A little kick back here. There. Well, that wasn't the best. But sometimes we do try to give in as quickly as possible. So what happened there? Hmm. That was really interesting because, yeah, go ahead and start again. She was just trying every direction how to get that pressure off, even after we taught her and taught her how to get it off. Even gave a little kick off this left foot. There. You know, Crystal, this mule is a little different. It, it, what she's doing to, to give to that bit, since her nose is so close to your fender, she can't just do one of those quack, you know, kind of big animated moves to give like most. Just the tiniest little twitch towards your fender when it's that close is all that's going to happen. And also use that little trick of moving that foot back when after she gets down there. See how gentle Crystal is with that brain now? That's keeping her from moving. Just leave her right there if she'll stay. There. Now, I would say that most people would go, well, if you'd put a pull bit in it, it wouldn't be in the way. And if we put a pull bit in it, it'd make it simpler for her. I didn't, cast, I didn't tell her to be simple. And nobody's going to ride a gated mule in a pull bit. So she has to learn to give and flex to a shanked walking horse bit. <laughs> there. That's all you're going to get from her. That is actually Annie Get Your Guns Flex, okay? Not that. Not that. That little shake her head, shake her head thing's just about like trying to move to get out of the pressure. So, man, it's hard, and it is hard to tell when she's giving and flexing and when she's just wiggling. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do now. We're just going to call it a day for today, but tomorrow we'll put hypodermic needle in her and we'll tie her head around and she'll be a little bit sore in the mouth 
Not very much, Pamela, but a little bit. And then I think we'll find better results. Don't try to flex the right side. We've done about all we can today, okay? Thank you, Crystal.